Welcome back. We're doing another lesson here today, and today we're talking about scale degrees. So this is a little bit of music theory here for us. Uh, as the average guitar player uh, who might be a little deficient in music theory, just understanding something as simple as scale degrees can make a giant impact on your playing and uh, also on how quickly you absorb new scale concepts. Because pretty much everything we, we talk about in music when it comes to chords and scales, we often use scale degrees uh, to, to describe these things. So just understanding it is, is a big uh, piece of the puzzle as far as understanding and speaking the, the music theory language. So what is a scale degree? This is actually pretty simple. The only kind of knowledge you need to, the only prerequisite for this is knowing your major scale. So if you don't know your major scale, you can learn it here in just a little bit the way I'm going to be playing it. Uh, I'll do it here in G. All right. Uh, I'm going to start on G and I'm going to go through my major scale. It goes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. All right. So if I know that major scale, then I'm ready to start tackling the idea of scale degrees. And it's as simple as this. Instead of giving these notes the names of the, the letter of the note, G and A and B, we're just going to give it a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's it. All right. So when I'm talking about a two in music, when I'm talking about a second scale degree, what I mean is I'm going from this note to that note. All right. So it's basically just a whole step distance. When I'm talking about a three, I'm talking about this note. All right. Now, this might seem really basic, but here's the deal. In music, we often talk about things like flatted twos and flatted threes. So check it out. Here was my regular two. It was over on this note. But if I flat that note, then all of a sudden it's here. Remember, flatting is to go down a half step. All right. So here's a one. That's my root. I picked G as my root today. And here is a flatted two. All right. Here's my regular two there on A. And then here is my regular three, but this would be a flatted three. All right. And I can continue this through the whole scale. Here's my regular fifth of a major scale. One, two, three, four, five. I could do a flatted fifth. One, two, three, four, five, and flat it. And I get the classic flatted fifth, the tritone. A uh, wonderful little interval right there. Now, why is this important? Well, when I want to teach somebody a scale or when I want to talk about a scale, I'll often just refer to it in scale degrees. Uh, for example, pentatonic minor. If I'm in G pentatonic minor, I can spell that out just using scale degrees by saying it's a one, it's a flatted three, it's a four, a five, and a flatted seven. And any musician will understand exactly, you know, how to produce that scale when I just say, oh, give me a one, a flatted three, a four, a five, and a flatted seven. There's your pentatonic minor scale. Uh, my minor scale itself, I could refer to my minor scale, just my G natural minor. I could say it's a one, a two, a flatted three, a four, a five, a flatted six, and a flatted seven, like that. So um, by understanding this nomenclature and this language, you can get the point across a lot easier. Instead of showing somebody frets or writing out passages, you can just kind of describe something to them. Even chords, I could describe something like a chord. Let's say I was in, uh, wanted to play a G7 chord. I could say a G7 chord is composed of a one, a three, a five, and a flatted seven. And that means it's gonna compose the first note of the G major scale, the third note of the G major scale, the fifth note of the G major scale, and the flatted seventh note of the G major scale, all right, which would be an F. So this idea of scale degrees is very closely tied to the idea of intervals in music. The idea of intervals is just the distances between two notes. And that's essentially what we're talking about here, but we're really making it a point to contact or to talk about how the distance is from a specific note. For example, all these notes were, in our example today, uh, from G, right? So we were thinking about the distance from G. Uh, it being a flatted two, in the key of G means something different than just calling it a minor second interval. Even though this is a minor second interval, and even though this is a flat of two, those two words kind of, those two phrases have different meanings depending on, uh, you know, the context of what we're talking about musically. So it can get a little confusing, but I would say there are two sides of the exact same coin, the idea here of scale degrees and the idea of intervals. And as you understand the one concept better, it'll certainly help you uh, understand the other concept better because they're essentially the same thing. So this is a quick, simple little video, and I hope you learned something from it, but I'm probably going to be referencing this video a lot for people uh, when I start doing more videos on uh, exotic scales and different patterns, stuff out of the mainstream. I want to be able to refer to things just to scale degrees, and if you don't really know what a scale degree is, well, that'll make things pretty difficult, okay? So if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, like and subscribe. That actually makes a huge difference. Uh, and I will plan on seeing you sometime soon. All right? Thanks.